Hi guys, this is Klazar bringing another audio commentary after uh, quite a long break. And again, um, I have been quite busy IRL working on my novel and stuff. And uh, for those of you who have been writing and wondering, uh, that's going fine. I'm, I'm working hard at it. I'm, about, I'm only about halfway through the first draft, unfortunately. So I anticipate another two months before it's finished. But I will pop on to do commentaries uh, as and when I can. And uh, I decided to do this one because uh, of three reasons. First of all, it's the start of the new season. So that that's definitely got me motivated to get back a little bit into StarCraft. Uh, and secondly, these are two of my favorite players playing Nara and Uuvi. And I will be talking about them a little bit more in a second. And third of all, because this is one of the new maps. This is Zodiac. And uh, it is one of the new maps that has been included by the MSL this time around. Thankfully, no... No Monty Hall. Thank you so much, MSL organizers, for taking Monty Hall out of your map pool. And that should make it a much more balanced season. And uh, yeah, it might very well be the season uh, of Savior's comeback in the tournament. And, and I think really last season, in my opinion, he was undone by Monty Hall. So... Uh, anyway, <laughs> enough about Savior since he's not actually even in this game or in this group. Uh, you can bet I'll probably be commentating on any of his matches uh, as they come up. But uh, I have really been looking forward to this game, guys. Uh, and I know it was played a couple of weeks ago, and I've, unfortunately I've only got t uh, gotten time to have a look at it now. So um, I'm only commentating on it now. But uh, we've got Uvi in the brown at the tw uh, 6 o'clock position, and Nada in cream. Uh, or light yellow, whatever you prefer, at the 12 o'clock position. This is an interesting map, Zodiac. I, I like the look of it. It's a little bit like Python in, in, in terms of that it's symmetrical, first of all. Uh, and also, the bases of the players are not in the corners of the map, as you've seen in some other symmetrical maps. They're actually in the middle, um, on, on, both, on both the top and bottom, as well as the left and right of the map. Uh, and in addition to that, you've also got the fact that you've got those two island expansions, one on each corner, uh, one in the top left and one in the bottom right corner. Uh, and that's very similar to Python in its structure, though there are other different uh, and it'll be interesting to see how this map plays out, but I do anticipate this to be a fairly even, evenly balanced map, uh, and, and I don't think it's going to favor any single race over the other, but obviously only, only time will tell. But it, it looks like a good map, and, and I hope we get some exciting and interesting games on it. Python has made for a lot of joy, and that's back this season, so I'll be looking forward to any games being played on that map. But uh, certainly I think this map was going to make for some interesting games. We've got an Ace Team Ace fan in the crowd as well, though uh, no one from Ace is playing. Uh, the players who are playing, of course, are We Made Fox, Nada, and Nada, uh, We Made Fox buying out Pantech X. So it's going to be interesting to see. Nada really suffered because of his clan, in my opinion, a lot last season. He suffered a lot because of his team. Uh, being forced to play far too many matchups, and he really had a torrid time of it last season. Absolutely horrendous time. I remember one game where he got absolutely humiliated by Choja in a KTF versus Pantex matchup. Uh, and that, I believe, was on Nemesis. And, and Choja just almost made him cry. And that was a humiliating defeat for Nada. Although it was a little bit of his fault as well for staying in until the very end. Uh, and, and you can't really fault Choja for wanting to have a convincing victory considering that he hasn't been doing too well of late himself. So definitely, Nada had a horrible time. But I thought he still played well. Nada, the old soldier, solid snake as far as I'm concerned, uh, plays a pretty consistent game. And, and I think he played a consistent game last season. But it was just unfortunate that he had to play too much and didn't get enough time, in my opinion to practice. Uvi just blocking off the entrance to his ramp with an SCVM Marine in time, I believe, uh, to s uh, sorry to thwart the scouting from Nada. Nada's SCV is not going to get up that ramp. He's not going to get the scout off Uvi. So far, both players have gone for a very similar strategy. Both players have gone for the tech build. Uvi himself was in fairly resurgent form last season. I have to say, he looked good, and I have to feel sorry for him because he was in a very tough group. He had Savior, who obviously, though not at his peak, was still playing some psychotic Starcraft and also Flash who impressed us all with his flashy style uh, and his brilliant innovative play taking down Bisu of course the reigning MSL champion uh, with some bold strategy so Uvi was very unlucky I believe in his group if he'd been in a little bit of an easier group I'm sure he would have progressed uh, and he was playing some good Starcraft uh, most memorably in that game versus Savior where unfortunately he did go down he did get quite a spanking from Savior, but he played some great StarCraft, especially towards the end of that game. He almost came back and almost pulled off an unlikely victory. And uh, first Vulture out for Uvi, just killing off that SCV, uh, Nada sending his... N Nada doing the same to Uvi, scouting SCV, and Uvi just trying to circumnavigate the map, trying to circle around and trying to avoid that scout. And, and we see his divergence in strategy here. Uvi's gone for the hidden starport, so Uvi with a hidden starport and a control tower, uh, and uh, Nada has gone for the command center. Uvi with a double factory and a hidden starport, so this is going to impact the game. I'm sorry guys, I was talking too much about these players, and I didn't actually comment on what was going on, so I'm back to that now, back to the action. And this looks like it's going to be a very interesting game, because Nada has gone for the expansion, one factory into expansion, which is a fairly standard build. We saw that quite successfully being employed on Python, uh, and Nada now putting up the second factory. But Uvi's got those two factories up, he's got those two machines shops up uh, and that starport so Uvi really do or die here and it's going to be interesting to see what sort of strategy he pulls out it looks like he's put up the control tower already so he's going to have cloak rates and not in a little bit of trouble here because he doesn't have an academy so he's not going to have scan he doesn't have an engineering base so he's not going to have any turrets uh, and, and to add to that he does not have 
uh, an armory, so he's not going to be producing Goliaths either. And he's only got a single Marine, so that's going to be problematic for Nada when Uvi's raids come out. And Uvi now pumping units from that starport. He's also got those two factories producing units. So Uvi might come in in a Blitzkrieg here. Nana has got that siege tank out, so it is going to be a little bit difficult for Uvi to break that defense, but uh, that air advantage might give him give him the final the final decision, might give him the final talking point in this game. But we'll have to see what, what becomes of that. Uh, you know, you have seen in the past where players have come out with raids and not really... And, and looks like Nana's building something. It might be a turret. I'm not sure. They didn't click on it. Looks like Nana is building something. If it is a turret, that will be exactly what Nana needs. Uh, and Nana might be mindful of the fact that Uvi might gone for a starport, though he has had absolutely no opportunity to scout it. So he would have to be a psychic to figure this out. And Uvi's already got spider mines, so he's gone for spider mines first. Nana, I'm sure, is going for siege mode. And Uvi with a dropship. So Uvi's coming out with a dropship, and he's going to catch Nana completely off guard here because Nana's concentrating his defense at the front of his base, at the front of his natural expo. Nana's put all his units down there, he's got a couple of siege tanks and a couple of vultures, uh, and Uvi's coming in with a dropship, so he's going to catch Nana with his pants down here, and Nana's going to be in a little bit of trouble, Nana's scouting SCV, he's not going to find anything, and Uvi now dropping in Nana's base, free of any constraints, uh, and Uvi going straight for N Nana's factories, and Uvi now putting spider mines down just outside Nana's ramp, and that's going to be difficult for, uh, for Nana now, because Nana's not going to be able to bring his siege tanks into play, and Uvi also blocking off those tanks out of the range with that bu with the barracks, so that's going to slow Nana down, and Nana new trouble here, because he's only got, but he's got four vultures uh, compared to Uvi's three as well, but Uvi reinforcing now with the dropship, Uvi coming in with another four vultures, and Nana in huge trouble now, Nana very wisely sending a marine out to absorb the first hit from the spider mines, and he's managed to get sneak those siege tanks through, but uh, that's going to force Uvi back, so, so far Uvi hasn't done a great deal of damage, he really needs to do a bit more damage to Nana's economy here, otherwise Nana's going to be ahead in this game because Uvi has committed himself to this strategy, brilliant strategy, I have to say. First Siege Tank gets taken down by Spider Mine, second Siege Tank is going to take two Spider Mines, and Nana's Vulture dies. Uvi manages to kill off two more of Nana's Vultures, uh, sorry, Nana manages to kill off two more of Uvi's Vultures. Nana's Siege Tank goes down, Nana's lost both Siege Tanks, but he's got a third one, and Uvi's now got a Wraith out as well. Uh, he doesn't seem to have cloaking technology, but he does not need it because Nana's got no, no air defense whatsoever. And Uvi now also powering down the front, Uvi barreling down the front with those five Vultures, and Nana's economy now in huge trouble here, Nana taking s some serious damage. That one Siege Tank is definitely not enough to cope, uh, and Uvi's been pumping out from two factories for some time now. Nana has been trying to cope, Nana's been focusing more on Siege Tanks, because he obviously didn't account for that raid. He should have really, when he saw that dropship, but really, what could he do? He would try to get an engineering bay up, I believe. That's why I believe what he was trying to build, meaning or pro probably an armory. But uh, it actually, does look like the skeletons of an army. And that siege tank is going to get taken down, and Uvi's going to win this game comfortably. It has to be said. Brilliant strategy by Uvi. He took the risk. He went for that hidden starport, and if it hadn't worked out for him, Nada would have won in the end. But Nada has got absolutely nothing to counter. Uvi's air attack, uh, and unfortunately for Nada, that one siege tank is all that survives. Uvi's got spider mines all around his factories as well, uh, and now Uvi putting out that expansion. Base. So this game, this is game sealed for Uvi. Uvi with a scintillating display, some brilliant Starcraft by Uvi, and I'm very impressed by his play. As I said, he looked impressive last season. He was a little bit unlucky versus the likes of players like Savior and Flash, whom I have to say Uvi gave a, gave a good, good account of himself. And it is an armory that Nada has been trying to build, but unfortunately, it's just too little now. Even if he gets that armory complete, he's got spider mines surrounding all of his factories. He's got a single sea shank, and that's all he's got. And Uvi winning this game with vultures and raids. And when was the last time you saw that strategy? Vultures and raids. So Uvi with a bit of innovation here, catching Nada completely off guard. Uh, and, and we've got a great start to this MSL season, folks. This is Clazard. I hope you guys enjoyed that game. That was a scintillating matchup. Uvi takes the win versus Nada. Uh, and he is looking good. Uh, and hopefully he will be back to his best. I'm not sure when the next one will be, guys, but uh, enjoy it. This is